Today we're doing a serpentine belt and a tensioner assembly. The Vortec 4200 engine. The belt routing diagram is as follows. Power steering pump, the alternator, idler pulley, AC, water pump, crankshaft, tensioner assembly, back to the power steering pump. Today we're changing the tensioner assembly. You put a 3 8 ratchet in here, in that square. See, I got my ratchet in the old one. You're gonna turn clockwise. And that's gonna loosen the belt. Let me set this down. There we go. And with my right hand, I just pulled it over the alternator. And we got our belt loose. There's our ratchet there. So now we're gonna take that bolt off down there. We got a 15 millimeter, the end of our ratchet. Quarters are kind of tight. Try to get my ratchet back. There we go. So yeah, quarters are kind of tight, but you can get a 15 on there pretty easily. So we're gonna take this bolt all the way out. There we go. I don't know why the camera's not focusing, but that's all right. You guys get the drift. All right. There we go, we got our old bad tensioner. And while the belt's off, we wanna check the rest of these pulleys, especially like the idler. Making a little noise while it's spinning. It doesn't seem to have any play in it. Bearing might be going out one of these days. Is that noise? A little squeaky on the alternator. But yeah, now it's time to put our new tensioner in. Just gonna take this bolt, pop it in. One thing you gotta know is there's a pin right here. And that pin sits into a hole down there. Can't really see it on the camera very well. But just make sure you put this pin where it goes make, and while you're tightening the bolt make sure it stays in there i've got that bolt tightened down on the new tensioner there got my ratchet in place i've already routed the belt everywhere it goes except for on the alternator so as i'm pressing down with my left hand on this ratchet clockwise if you're facing this way with my right hand i'm going to swing it over the alternator now it's kind of tricky to get the belt around the crankshaft pulley down there. The first thing you want to start off with is feeding the belt between the tensioner pulley and the power steering pulley. It's very tight clearance. You can barely get the belt in there. So you start it there, get it around your crank, and then feed it around everything else. So I'm going to press down on this tensioner assembly. Loop it over the alternator, and we are all done.